Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N, just like it says up on the hat, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat, and we're going to talk about the Dayton Hamvention for 2022. Hamvention 2022 will occur on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, May 20th through the 22nd. Gates open at 9 a.m. on all three days, close at 5 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, and 1 p.m. on Sunday. The location is the Green County Fairgrounds and Expo Center, located at 210 Fairground Road, Xenia 45385. Info down in the description. Ticket costs are $31 at the gate or $26 for advanced registration. You can order tickets online or print out and mail in a request if you want to uh, have something mailed to you. Just be sure to follow the instructions. You can also pick them up either at DX Engineering in Talmadge, Ohio, which is pretty close to Akron, or Parts Express in Springboro, Ohio, which is a little south of Dayton. Uh, children 12 and under may attend without a ticket. Now, that's if you're in the company of a valid ticket holder. So don't send your 10-year-olds uh, for a day at the park. Uh, junior and senior high school students may pick up a complimentary ticket at the will call window near the footpath entry. Given that the last two hamventions have been either canceled uh, or been done virtually because of health concerns. Uh, the general chairman of Hamvention 2022, uh, Mr. Rick Allnut, WS8G, gave the following statements. We strongly anticipate that the Hamvention 2022 is a go. We cannot guarantee what the government may decide about unknown changes in the pandemic. It has become obvious that the state of Ohio is very unlikely to call a halt to large gatherings uh, anytime soon, despite a recent large spike in the Omicron uh, virus uh, and associated hospitalizations. There is no move to restrict large indoor or outdoor events, such as sporting events. He went on to add that he anticipates that the official state guidance may be to recommend, but not require, wearing a mask and social distancing, and the Hamvention organizers will support the state guidelines. Uh, they don't anticipate checking immunization status on the site. Despite his uh, statement, or maybe because of it, uh, the vendors seem to be a little nervous about attending. Uh, to the best of my understanding, in the past, the majority of vendors, both inside and outside, uh, registered and confirmed for the next year almost immediately after the ham <laughs> mentioned for the current year was over. So let's take a look at the current vendor list. This is a homepage for the Dayton ham mention and a lot of links up here that will give you additional information. But the one we're looking for is this one right here vendor information, click on either of these two menu items and it'll, they'll both take you to the exact same spot, this spot, and then click on PC board, which is going to give us a list of all the vendors. Now, uh, we're going to go to our commercial vendors first. And you got a listing of maps, which is good, of the uh, venue. And up here, uh, in full black font, uh, are the confirmed uh, folks. And there's some good ones up there. There's a Buddy Pole and Arrow Antenna. And uh, down here, uh, oh, down here, we have West Mountain Radio. And here's one that's kind of interested me a little bit. It's called Shack in a Box. So I'd love to see what they have to present. But under these full black font, 
uh, we go to the grayed out ones. And the difference is that uh, everything in the full black is confirmed and everything following is reserved. I will tell you, I'm a little ignorant on this, I don't really understand the difference between confirmed and reserved. And uh, the numbers at the bottom that I'm going to show you don't necessarily match everything up. I'm wondering if what we're seeing over here is typical at this point in time, you know, just a couple months out from Hamvention. Uh, but we have 205 commercial vendors. Uh, confirmed are 25. Now, that doesn't seem to match up with this 59 paid and 366 unpaid. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just look forward to uh, getting information from somebody in the know. Let's go and take a look at the outdoor flea markets. Again, we have the flea market maps. You see there are a number available and there are a number reserved. I'm going to jump toward the middle and show you one thing I found. Right here in stall number 7945, we have one person who is paid. Now let's jump to the end. So you see the total booth count, we've got 1,371. Uh, out of that, one booth is paid and reserved. 1,317 booths are reserved and there are 50 open booths. Uh, again, is this typical for what we would see at this point in time, just a couple of months out from the Hamvention. I'll be honest, I'm a little concerned, but before I make a decision one way or the other, uh, I, I would like to hear from somebody else. If you're as concerned as I am, uh, mostly because of lack of information, uh, please make a point to come back every so often and uh, go down to the comments and see if anybody has uh, given us some good information. Does this mean that you should skip this year and plan for the next one? I can't answer that for you. I suspect if things get closer to the opening of Hamvention 2022, a lot can change and will change and hopefully for the better. I plan on attending on Saturday possibly on Sunday. Uh, so be on the lookout for this red hat and come up and introduce yourself. I won't be doing any video during the visits, mostly because I really don't do that kind of video very well. Uh, but I'd love to get to know you all better. There has been one large change uh, contest and DX related activities that have previously taken place at the Crown Plaza Hotel during the Dayton Hamvention are moving to the Hope Hotel beginning in 2022. Now the Hope Hotel is an excellent facility well suited for contesters and DXers. There's plenty of parking and it's uh, located closer to the Hamvention than the downtown Dayton hotels. The Hope Hotel is right next to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, but outside the gate so you don't need to go on base. Uh, contesting activities will be held at the Hope Hotel, and that includes four nights of the Contest Super Suite, uh, Contest University, the Top Band Dinner, the Contest Dinner, and the KCDX Club CW Comp Copying Competition. Uh, there may be additional related events as well. Now, reservations can be made now, but if you try to book online, you will see that there are no rooms for those dates because every room in the Hope Hotel has been blocked for contesters and DXers for Hamvention weeks. What you need to do is, and I've put a link down below, you need to contact them and tell them to, that you 
you want uh, to have one of those blocks or have a room out of that block and they'll, they'll set you up. Uh, link for contacting them is down below. Uh, now there are many hotels listed on the Hamvention website, but as quite often happens, a lot of them get sold out, which will happen sooner rather than later. So if that happens to you, I'd recommend searching a bit further out from the Hamvention locations. Aside from the hotels listed on the website, there are literally hundreds of good hotels uh, within an hour's drive. Now I've included a list of local frequencies to use for talk-in or just general ham chat, as well as a link uh, to that same list in the description. I'd also encourage you to take a look at the Hamvention website. Uh, there's a lot of information there that I didn't get to on this video, but may be of interest to you, especially things you can do where you're local, I hear. I would strongly recommend that you go visit the Air Force Museum. It is a treasure. And uh, I've been to the Smithsonian Aerospace Museum. This blows them out of the water. Take a look at the Hamvention website for additional information to help you get the most out of your visit and to keep uh, visiting the site for the latest updates. Uh, to paraphrase uh, Carol Burnett, I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a cham shack chat and talk about hamvention. Seems we just get started and before you know it comes the time for me to ask you to like, <laughs> please like me, comment, questions, comments, share, thanks for sharing, thanks for sharing. and subscribe. If John doesn't subscribe to Chaos. You know what I mean. As always, I'm at your service. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. Uh, and thanks for visiting my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm out.